Hey everybody, this is Robert. I wanted to do a video today for you all. We got the mock-up from the factory. Uh, I got it in the mail yesterday and was able to really review it last night. Uh, and instead of writing a whole long update um, that a lot of people, I know a lot of people don't read all those updates, I thought a, a quick video would be better since I actually have something to show you. So hopefully this will help you guys uh, understand the kind of things we're dealing with right now and where we are in the process. So this mock-up is done by the factory for us to confirm a lot of very important things. We're looking to verify the colors. We're looking to verify the component counts. We are doing a final proof reading of everything to make sure everything, there's no typos or mistakes in, in the final product. We are looking at the sizes, that kind of stuff. Um, this is not a final version uh, that's done on the factory machinery. So I need everybody to understand that. It's a mock-up to kind of verify some of those things I've, I just mentioned. Uh, it's, uh, so some of the things I'm going to show you um, are real issues that we need to correct. And some of the things are just because it's a, it's a mock-up. But you'll see the box looks uh, very good the I love the kind of dragon leather texture uh, that Louise put on the all around the box it looks very nice I'm very happy with the colors the back uh, looks really good with all the kind of legal stuff uh, that we have to have and, and the barcode and here's a little secret on the barcode there's Louis Louise's uh, uh, designer logo right there if anybody's wondering what that is which is pretty cool <clears throat> but very good. Now, I will say that there is one thing uh, right in here on the on the image. We, I think it's a little dark. And there's also a couple of cards in the game, uh, specifically the Darklands Battlefield and the Dungeon Battlefield. I think they're a little too dark, so I'm going to have the factory lighten those up by about 10%. That is what I want to do. Uh, so I think that will make a, make a difference and make it pop even a little bit more. But... I'm going to open it up for you, and it's kind of cool on the inside here. Luis put this cool, you know, this ancient writing, runic writing that he found on the side as well, and you'll see this on the cards, throughout all the cards, and you can, if you're a code breaker, you can actually decipher these, these codes to figure out what it says. Uh, so that's pretty neat. So there's a game on the game. Uh, the rule book <clears throat> looks good. Now, of course, the cut isn't perfect here. Again, this is a mock-up uh, meant to verify a lot of a lot of things, not the final product. So the cut is not going to be uh, perfect like it's going to be when it comes off the, the actual factory machinery. But again, I think it needs to be lightened up a little bit just on the front there. There's the front. There's the back. Looks very good. Um, <clears throat> inside very happy uh, with the way the rules look I think the text is nice and large so you know people can read it just fine even old guys like me my my eyesight seems to be getting worse year after year after year <laughs> so I'm sure you other old people will in, uh, be happy with the text <clears throat> the illustrations are good all the labels are good we went through last night and we Pro proof read this again and again and again because this is going to be our last chance and everything looked fine everything is I think laid out very well <clears throat> we spent a lot of time on this rule book and we want to, I want to thank everybody who gave their feedback on these rules I, that was really critical and all the blind play testers I want to thank them for their feedback on the rules so we wanted to make sure it was concise and that everything uh, was explained for the game. So we're very happy with the way uh, the rule book turned out. And this is done. The card index sheet. Now the card index sheet we thought was very uh, important. Uh, there are a lot of you know situations, situational rules uh, based on the different cards in the game. And we didn't want to bloat the rule book with all that stuff. You know, there's so so many cards in the game if we put every little situation in the rule book it would have been very hard to read the rule book and we didn't want that so instead we took those situational card specific rules and put them into this card index so if you have a question on the gold dragon you can look it up in alphabetic it's alphabetical 
and read about just the gold dragon to find the answer to what you're looking for. So we're hoping this is very helpful uh, to players, especially new players. Everything looks good in here, but I did find one issue, unfortunately, uh, the magic section. Um, I, you know, there's a there's a section where I say the attacker always gets to draw when they play a magic unless countered by a magic shield. That should have said unless countered by a magic shield or an ancient magic. So the ancient magic is good. That the rule is specified there. And uh, the magic shield is good. The rule is specified there. But under the magic section, I wasn't consistent. I don't know how we missed that. I've read this so many times, but it happens. And that's why we <clears throat> do mock-ups like this and, and review it and review it and review it. So Lewis has already updated this file, and I've already sent it to the factory. So I'm just glad we found it. Not a, not a big deal. Uh, but I wanted to <clears throat> let you know that that is... Uh, being corrected. It wouldn't have been a disaster, you know, if that made it into the final production, but it would have been inconsistent and it would have confused some players. So I'm glad we found it uh, and I'm glad we're getting that fixed. So the inside uh, of the box, uh, here's the first player token, uh, which looks very good. I think it's a little big though. I think I want to reduce this by about 30%. I want it to be large enough so it's easy to see the gold or the green side but I want it to be small enough so it's sturdier it's two millimeters so it's a good thickness but the bigger you make it the more bend it's gonna have so I want to reduce this a little bit uh, just to make sure it's more sturdy because this is gonna be passed back and forth uh, a great deal the inside of the box uh, we have the card the insert here uh, the insert when you take this out there's gonna be plenty of room to sleeve now there's some peeling here, but again, this is a mock-up. It's not the, the final production factory, so just keep that in mind. Um, but the cards fit very well. Uh, when you take the insert out, they're going to fit just fine with sleeves, which I know a lot of you will be happy about. Uh, we have a compartment for the green player. So these are all the green dragons and the green battle cards. All the gold dragons and gold dragon cards can go on the other side. And in the middle is where you can put your advanced battle cards and you can put um, uh, your battlefield cards as well. So the dragons all look really good. <clears throat> There's the, the red and, and the purple. So very happy with, with all the, the dragon cards. Uh, the colors on these are very very nice they all came out really well I think the text is you know we made the text bigger on a lot of these cards I think they're very they're easily uh, readable so we're very very happy with the with the cards Let me show some more here all right there's some of the special ones the lava dragon the blue dragon that was a stretch goal that's in the game the blood whore dragon that we bought that was a stretch goal that's in the game looks really Vicious, very nice battle dragon. There's the undead dragon. It was a, a stretch goal as well. Looks good. Rainbow dragon. A lot of people like that one. So dragon cards all in all. Uh, very happy with the colors and the text on the dragon cards. The card counts were fine. Verified all that stuff. Um, one other thing. Uh, issue though is even if you sleeve all these cards... Even after you add the promo cards, if you have the promo cards, even if you add the metallic cards, if you, you know, got the metallic cards, there's still, it's too deep. There's a lot of room in here. So I want to see if we can kind of make it a little shallower, the box, maybe four millimeters, because um, we don't want stuff sloshing around in here. We want it to be as tight as we can. So that's another thing I'm going to uh, be looking into. But the card index sheet fits for perfectly in there, and then the rules fit perfectly in there in the box. And the lid fits nice and securely. It's good. So and there's a little tiny bit down here, so it's easier to take the box off. But that's a very small thing. Uh, but but very happy with the way it's looking. We're happy with the overall design uh, look of the game. The colors are excellent except for the uh, a little bit dark on the cover and a couple of those battlefield cards a little too dark we want to lighten that up a little bit 
the first player marker, I think we need to reduce the size a little bit. We need to make the box a little shallower. But other than that, um, and of course we fixed the card index, that one omission that I found in that final run through. So all in all, very happy with the game. There are a couple things we need to fix. Uh, you know, that's why we do this. You never know what you're going to run into uh, when you're, you know, making, creating a game from scratch. But I wanted to be completely transparent with all you guys because this game would not exist if it was not for you. Now, I, I think this, you know, it might add a week to the production, a week and a half, maybe two at the most. Um, but I think it's important that we get all this stuff right. Uh, because any issues with the game, it's not just one issue. It's got to be 6,000 issues, right? Because that's how many games we are making. So, you know, we want to make sure every mistake we make is really 6,000 mistakes. So we want to make sure we have this right. So, again, I appreciate your patience. I do think we're still going to be on schedule to deliver this to you in September. Uh, and I want to thank you again for your support. And I hope this was uh, useful to you all. And thanks again. Bye.